yo yo what's cracking youtube it's your boy professor crypto got another hot crypto class for you guys today this one's on fire you guys already know anything we bring on the channel it's got the heat it's got the potential and it definitely should be watched this one is no different guys without further ado let's jump right into it class is now in session this one is called bitcoin halving you may have heard this term before if you're into cryptocurrency if you're into bitcoin you've definitely heard this unlike fiat currencies which can be printed by central banks at will the supply of bitcoin is limited algorithmically there will only ever be 21 million bitcoins in existence guys this by definition makes it a deflationary asset as opposed to an inflationary one that's some good news every 10 minutes a block of bitcoin transactions is solved by miners and added to the bitcoin blockchain this is complicated and expensive work demanding a lot of electricity guys and specialized hardware so why would anyone do it in the first place because the algorithm rewards miners with new bitcoins which are generated and added to the circulating supply every 10 minutes. This distribution of new BTC is known as the block reward. When bitcoin first appeared, the block reward was 50 bitcoins. This means that every 10 minutes somebody somewhere was getting 50 bitcoin delivered to their wallet. What? I want that to be me guys. This was back in the days when BTC was worth pennies and you could mine it using only a laptop. Oh, I mean that's not that good then i guess right <laughs> so does this mean money is basically falling from the sky on these people running giant warehouse sized mining rigs yes but they're not earning anywhere near as much as the btc currently the block reward is only 12.5 btc now you're wondering why like what happened you just told me it's 50 btc professor why is it 12.5 now the block reward was cut in half twice. This is the feature programmed into Bitcoin and occurs every four years, which is every 210,000 blocks. Once that number is crossed, the block reward is cut in half. This process is predetermined and will continue in the last Bitcoin is mined sometime in the year 2140. We're all gonna be dead by then guys, but I'm just saying. This process is referred to as the halving and it can have long-term effects on the price of BTC. It's set to happen again close to mid-May. So you're probably wondering how do halvings affect the price of BTC? The block rewards halving tends to have long-term positive effects on the price of Bitcoin because there are a lot of theories, but the one in common comes down to the simple supply and demand. If your Bitcoins are being generated, guys, the newly increased scarcity automatically makes them more valuable, but this does not happen right away. For a more nuisance explanation, why halvings correlate with eventual price changes one needs to examine the role of miners on average 4380 blocks are mined every month and added to the bitcoin blockchain as of this writing the block reward is 12.5 btc with a price of around five thousand dollars which i'll use for an example so crunching the numbers shows that 4380 times 12.5 times five thousand equals about 273 million per month this is approximately how much in dollars miners are earning each month in total revenue that's a lot of money guys what after the next halving only half as many bitcoins will be generated per day okay so when this occurs guys one of two things will happen miners will simply give up or they will refuse to sell bitcoins generated at a price holding below ten thousand dollars okay how has this played out in the past history shows us that it ended up being a mix of both some small number of miners will indeed give up while the majority will instead choose to keep mining and hold. The first halving occurred in November of 2012 when one BTC went for around $11 USD. The following year, the price began to climb dramatically, reaching an all new high of 1,100 in 2013. The price then crashed down to 220, 240 range, where it would remain for the next few years. The next halving occurred July 9, 2016. Bitcoin stayed in the price range of $580 to $700 for several months before slowly rising towards the end of the year. This time, some of the industry anticipated that the history itself might repeat itself it, investors remember what happened in 2017 don't they yeah i'm sure you do guys so what do we expect for the next halving that's about to happen the first time btc went from around 11 dollars to 1100 dollars and then back down to 220 second time btc went from 230 bucks to around 20,000 and then back down to 4,000. so what about the next one i can't really tell you guys for sure but what I'm gonna guess here, what's gonna happen is that there is a clear correlation between Bitcoin reward halving and the price volatility afterwards. These supply side changes happen every four years and keeping in mind that can help build a better picture of what influences the price Bitcoin in different times. Cointelegraph covers all of that guys. I mean, I kind of explained it in my own words, but Cointelegraph also has their own explanation, which I have up here for you guys to be looking at while I was explaining all of that to you. That being said, I wanna show you guys a little video on Bitcoin halving which might help you understand it a little better.
awesome video guys telling you exactly what's going on with bitcoin halving and what to expect shout out to all my students guys i love you shout out to the crypto class gang shout out to the lambo gang shout out to the whale gang shout out to the huddle gang thank you for always your continued support guys i really appreciate it if you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to smash that like button for me and drop a comment in the comment section below please remember we are an impartial channel guys so whether your opinion is negative or positive we'd be more than happy to hear it that being said class is now dismissed we'll see you in our next video Professor Crypto out. Oh.